You know him. You love him. You want to have his Australian Just stop baby. with the intro. Just, just oh. give up on it, buddy. Uh, are you 100% sure? Yeah. D just stop, okay? It's over with. Nobody cares uh, anymore. Uh, okay. Just stop it. All right? Hello and welcome to Lays Bean Predicts NFL Week 7. Why the booze? What? You, you want a fancy intro? Is that what you want? Well, no. You're not going to get it, okay? Because it's done with. Or are you just mad because you've been stuck here for a month? Is that what you're crying about? What, you've been fed? All right, you've got a roof over your head. Stop complaining. Kids in Africa don't have that. Count yourselves lucky. Uh, bunch of crybabies, aren't they? Anyway, fellas, it's Lazy Bean Predicts, NFL Week 7. I have a new camera that I'm testing out. Hopefully, I look pretty. Anyway, I'm going to go through my picks, go through my games of the week, drop some knowledge on you because I can tell the future. And most importantly, I'm going to piss off a whole bunch of Seahawks fans. I'm excited. Let's get into it. All right, first up, like always, I'll go through last week's games. Um, I went 9-5, and five, and now my total score for the season is 55-36, and 36, which is much, much better than I thought I'd be. Like, I thought I'd be the Cleveland Browns of predicting, as in I'd be completely garbage, but turns out I'm more like the Patriots, if I do say so myself. <sighs> All right, now it's time to get into my three games of the week. First up, we have Patriots-Colts. Now, it obviously didn't turn out to be the big, massive revenge game like everyone was predicting, but it was definitely entertaining. Um, mainly the trick play that the Colts tried. Um, I mean, I get what they were thinking. They were trying to draw the Patriots off sides, get a cheap first down, keep their drive going. But it obviously didn't work out like that. And it's like... It's the new butt fumble, really, because it was just a complete failure of a play. I mean... Granted, no one ran into another player's ass, but the spirit's still there, right? The spirit of just complete, utter terribleness, it's still there. So, boy oh boy, was that entertaining, all right? And how about Brady's first pick of the season? What bullshit was that? Bloody hell, Edelman. Catch a fucking ball, buddy, all right? It was in your hands. It was a perfect throw. You were wide open. Just knocked it straight into the Colts player's hands, and it was pick six. Terrible, you bastard. All right, next game, Panthers, Seahawks. And this is the one I'm looking forward to because I'm going to piss off a whole bunch of Seahawks fans because what I'm about to say will shock you, all right? Your team just isn't good this year, all right? Your offense is completely garbage, but now your defense is even lackluster. So, like, they've been blowing fourth quarter leads. Um, they just have not been performing well. I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, you just don't know football, and last year you're 3-3. Three and three. But at least last year you showed something good like there was something to be like positive about in these games you're just not showing up as soon as the game gets tight like you just have not been performing and guys i'm sorry to break it to you you're not going to the playoffs all right you have too much competition for the wild card spot and you're probably not going to win the division because the cardinals are likely going to win the division yes i do know they lost to the steelers but at least they've been more consistent this season like i'm sorry guys you just don't have a shot and I will say, if the Seahawks, if the Seahawks make the playoffs, I'll punch myself in the face. All right, that is my laser beam lock of the, whatever. I'll punch myself in the face. Giants Eagles. All right. Now, to be honest, I really didn't watch this game at all. All right. I just tuned in for halftime because Star Wars trailer. Let me know if you saw it. Right. Star Wars. Da -da -da, you know, the whole music and everything. Um, how good was it? I'm so hyped up. New Star Wars stuff coming. Yeah, I'm so pumped. Anyway, yeah, that's that's all I wanted to talk about. No comments about the game, except I got it right. Eagles absolutely flogged them. So, yeah, I can tell the future after all. Stop doubting me, okay? All right, now let's get into the stuff that everyone came here for. NFL Week 7 predictions. And first up, we've got Thursday Night Football between the Seahawks and the 49ers. All right, now once again, I'm going to piss off Seahawks fans, all right? because you aren't going to win this football game. The 49ers have been playing really good the last two weeks, and the Seahawks, they haven't been, okay? Your offense is terrible. Your defense is not consistent. They haven't been able to shut down anybody. So I predict it's going to be an upset, but I predict the 49ers are going to win this one. Okay, ready? Count down for the hate comments. One, two, three, subtract two, and that's how I feel about your hate comments, all right? I'm right, you're wrong, deal with it. All right, next up, Bills, Jaguars. I'm sorry, Jags fans, but you're not going to win this football game. You're back to being one of the worst teams in the league. I mean, at least you have Blake Bortles, though. All right, 
he could be good someday. It's just not today, so you're going to lose this football game. Bills over Jaguars. All right, next up, we've got the Browns and Rams. Uh, the Browns actually played pretty good against the Broncos, but it appears pretty much everyone plays pretty good against the Broncos. So I'm not sure how much that actually shows us, but I'm going to take the Rams in this one. I mean, they've beaten some really good teams, so they're kind of a somewhat good team. So I th especially since they're at home, I'm going to take them over the Browns. All right, Vikings and Lions. Now, last week, I picked the Lions to get their first win. But this week, the, I'm not, I'm not going to pick them to get their second win. I think the Vikings are going to win. I think they get it done against the Lions. All right, Texans, Dolphins. Um, both these teams actually played pretty good last week. Like, they're bouncing back from a rough start to the season. And I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I mean, I like the Texans, all right? They're probably my second favorite team. And I really don't like the Dolphins, but... Every time I pick the Texans, they lose. So I'm going to pick the Dolphins. Let's hope the Dolphins win. Yeah. All right, Saints and Colts. All right, the Saints obviously had a massive bounce back game, defeating the Falcons. And the Colts, they showed they can hang with a solid team when they played the Patriots. But I don't know who I'm going to pick. I think I'm going to go with the Saints. Screw it. Let's do it. All right, Steelers, Chiefs. The Steelers have been playing much, much better than the Chiefs. Yeah, I'm going to take the Steelers over the Chiefs. Especially if Big Ben plays. All right, fellas, my game of the week. Jets, Patriots, okay? The Jets always play the Patriots close. And this year, they're actually looking pretty good. So this should be a really bloody good game. I'm still going to take the Patriots, though. They're my favorite team, and they always win. So you can't go wrong. It should be a bloody good game, though. I'm actually excited. All right, they might hand us our first loss of the season. I'm terrified. I'm shaking in me boots. All right, Buccaneers, Redskins, who the bloody hell cares? I'm sorry if that offends you, but I don't really care. I'm going to take the Buccaneers. I like famous Jameis, all right? I like him as a quarterback. I feel like he's getting better. So, yeah, I feel like they beat the Redskins. All right, Falcons, Titans. Now, obviously, the Falcons lost terribly last week, but they're still a much better team, and I don't think this will be close. All right, Devontae Freeman, Julio Jones, they're absolutely going to destroy the Titans, so... That's my laser beam, laser lock of the week. All right. Raiders, Chargers. Uh, I'm not actually sure who to pick in this one. I mean, the Chargers did hang with the Packers in Lambeau, but I, I kind of like the Raiders, all right? You know, I like them a little bit, so I think I'm going to go with the Raiders. It might be a bit of an upset pick, but I'm not afraid to get a bit wild. So let's go Raiders, I guess. Yeah. Army Hardy. All right, Cowboys, Giants. Ah, uh, is Romo back yet? No, he's not. All right, then. Let's go New York Giants. Eagles, Panthers. All right, this is an interesting one. The Panthers did just hand Seattle a loss in Seattle. But the Eagles, they just played a great game, so it's tough. I am going to go with the undefeated Panthers, though. I feel like they beat the Eagles. I mean, I do pick the Eagles, like, every week, but that stops now, okay? All right, final game, fellas. Cardinals, Ravens. I'm going to take the Cardinals. They haven't been playing as great as I'd expect, but they're still much better than the Ravens. So Carson Palmer, Larry Fitzgerald over the Ravens. That's it. That's my predictions. End scene. End credits. That's actually a lie because I still have to do my outro. Anyway, yes, I hope you enjoyed. Laser Beam predicts NFL Week 7. Let me hear it, crowd. Okay. S still booing? All right, well, screw you anyway. <laughs> Anyway, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Put money on all my picks, all right? I guarantee you'll be a millionaire by the end of Sunday. Anyway, yes, hope you enjoyed it. Hit the fucking like button, and I'll see you fellas later. Thanks for all your support. You're all a bunch of bloody legends. All right, cheers, fellas. Oh, shit. I didn't go out of frame. Well, this is just awkward now. All right, cheers, fellas.